Morning, everybody. It's Jeff from Rust Bucket Valley Garage. Uh, we seem to have a bunch of keys coming in uh, this week. So generally, we have them in for body work because they like to run into things. So we've been doing a lot of uh, front ends. But um, we have a check engine light on right here. And the code is 1326. It is a knock sensor. Um, I wanted to do a little experiment with this one because uh, we have a, um, an engine ordered for this one um, because you can hear the knock for the main bearings. Uh, what has basically happened is they went to a, um, a discount oil change place and maybe they forgot to take put oil in it. but. This right here is a main bearing, and as you can see, uh, this is supposed to be kind of a dull silver, and this is out of another engine, but um, what happens is when it's unlubricated, it just tears this, uh, this coating off. The, it's actually um, two layers of coating on here. The first one is Babbitt, which is a soft metal that kind of cushions all the parts. And then there is a piece, there is a, uh, a layer of oil that is between the Babbitt and like the crankshaft or the connecting rod bearings. Um, and then underneath this, there is a copper layer. And underneath this, there is the shell for the bearing, which is made of steel. Okay, and what it has done, it has... Uh, torn off the uh, the Babbitt layer and is into the carpet layer and that's the reason it's uh, rattling so much. So my question would be um, would it make sense to clear the P1326 code and um, let the guy go on his way while uh, we ordered an engine for it and I want to do a little experiment uh, it's no harm, no foul on this one because we're going to take and need an engine on this one. It's already unordered. Um, so I have a scan tool out. Going to go to live data and see if we're actually getting anything. A lot of times just replacing the knock sensor will not take and fix the problem if there is any noise at all coming from the engine. Um, I found a way to take and bypass the uh, the knock sensor, and um, that's where we are right now. I figured, well, if it's not sensing the knock, let me go ahead and uh, and see, you know, whether we can um, give them a, a a little more life out of their engine so that, um, you know, they'll have something to, to drive around on, um, you know, while, while the engine is, is uh, coming. Um, I looked at this earlier, and we're going to take a look at some live data. And if you take and look here, this is the live data that the knock sensor is actually uh, sensing. Okay, so it's knocking pretty bad. Um, cylinder two and cylinder three are especially bad. One and four, not so much. So I figure, well, okay, the amplitude of the signal is not that bad. Uh, if I went ahead and reset this, which I did, I reset the, uh, the knock sensor code and what is going to be the result? Is it going to be usable when I reset that? So what I did is went ahead and reset it and then looked at the live data. And then what that does is it takes it out of limp mode. And right now, um, Generally, when it's in limp mode, it takes in um, um, limits your RPM to about 2,000 RPM. So 
It's a cylinder three. Um, just by the sound of the engine, it sounds like it's going to put a rod through the side of the block here any minute. So, does it make sense to take and, and uh, reset that code and set them on their way? Well, no, it doesn't. Does it make sense when you hear a, um, a noticeable noise coming from the engine? to replace the knock sensor and hopefully that will take and solve the problem. No, it does not. Uh, this is going to be an engine and uh, so we got uh, we got an engine on order. We're going to take this thing today and we're going to put it back in the in the rear area and start tearing the engine down. So sorry to have to give the uh, the customer the bad news. It is not a $65 um, knock sensor, but it is actually an engine. Uh, there are 1,000 or um, 113,491 uh, miles on this um, on this vehicle, and uh, there isn't any reason at all that with care of maintenance, you should be able to get uh, 200,000 miles out of these. I know uh, Key has had a lot of problems, but um, Otherwise, the car runs fine, other than a, the uh, engine uh, knocks like a marble in a tin can. But uh, I just thought I'd try out this theory, if you could take and reset that code and uh, send them on their way for a little while. Well, no, you can't. So, yes, there is a reset for P1326, but just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and pull the engine out of this and get another engine, put it in there. Okay, so I hope you have a wonderful day today. Thanks for stopping by to take and see this video. And uh, please subscribe and hit the like button. Uh, you will be the first to know when we do something else, okay, that might interest you. I hope you have a great day. See you next time.